So, yeah, apparently there is another migrant caravan uh, reportedly heading towards the uh, US-Mexico border. This time it's around 15,000. Um, better build that bloody wall soon, soon, Trump, I tell you. So, another migrant caravan with 15,000 people set to deport from Honduras next month. It's funny, Fox News is isn't talking about this either. They're too busy talking about Nancy Pelosi. But let's jump into it. Another migrant caravan will soon be making its way from north of Honduras with an estimated 15,000 people. By the way, this is what they're starting off with. So God knows how many will be there by the time they get there. And according to a new report, as thousands of migrants who fled the Central American country in October remain stranded at the Mexico border waiting on entry to the US. Even the larger group is prepared to preparing or prepared to preparing to deport from the north of deport for the north on the 15th of January. Sorry. And, uh, they say even bigger and stronger than the last caravan my Guagaba, I might be pronouncing, a member of the migrant advocacy group Retractive Tanana Foundation. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, told the Los Angeles Times. Guadalajara said the latest caravan will likely pick up even more people from El Salvador and Guatemala as it heads towards Mexico. Like the last caravan, the group plans to share its progress, including with, uh, with routes they will be taking on social media. Mexican newspaper El de Pasto de Chaparras reported, I'm getting that name wrong, but I apologize, However, unlike previous groups, Guido said the members of this caravan are planning to stop short of the U.S. and find work in Mexico. <laughs> sure. Uh, given that the shelters in Tanara are already overcrowded with migrants waiting to apply for asylum in San Diego. The migrants with this large, uh, sorry, the migrant with this fall's largest caravan have been left suspended in uncertainty as they wait outside the lengthy asylum request processes. In October, the caravan was faced with a choice, continue to the U.S. southern border or stop put down routes in Mexico where the government offered to let them stay. Pavadro Sinas Fondraz, I'm getting that name wrong, a group of 40 Mexicans and U.S. activists escorting the caravan warned the migrants that the, the offer might be too good to be true and call, a vo uh, call on a voice vote on whether to continue. Quote, let's keep going, the crowd yelled amid applause. Now thousands are stuck in the border town of Tuzara, where they link to be uh, likely to be ca camped for months or longer, with no easy way to get into the United States. Creating what is fast becoming a humanitarian crisis, this is overwhelming city plagued by protests. While well, Trump administration has been clear that it will not welcome the immigrants. Mexican's Prime Minister, uh, sorry, President uh, Andreas Malareo Lopez, uh, uh, I'm getting that name wrong, I apologize, has pledged to provide work visas to migrants who flee violence and poverty in their home countries and come north in hopes of finding a better life. We'll see how long that lasts for. Uh, this is, is, uh, this is uh, in his inauguration speech at the beginning of the month, Lopez Obrado promised the imp uh, implement to sorry to implement public works projects, including the planting of two million trees, as well as the construction of his eight billion Maya train, the train which will link cities in three Yucatan Pensacola states. I'm sorry, it's been a very long day. Uh, as well as Tabasco and the Chepasas is expected to create thousands of uh, hundreds of thousands of jobs in the Mexican southern states. Mexico and the U.S. agreed last week to develop a plan to curb Central American migration, which will include a 25 billion investment from Mexico into its southern states over the next five years. Under the plan, the U.S. will contribute uh, 4.8 billion to Mexico and 5.8 billion to the Northern Triangle of Central America, in which consists, consists of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. And I doubt the money will get there, but anyway. 
It, it'll get taken up by government fees in those sort of places. Um, but look, at the end of the day, uh, look, obviously, um, I find it very funny that nobody is talking about this yet again. Seems like everybody's sort of distracted with the shiny things. Um, look, at the end of the day, um, so what's the skinny version of all this? Because I've pretty much butchered the article. Uh, around 15,000 people are threatening to leave Honduras to head up towards Mexico. I imagine when they get there, a portion of them will be heading towards the U.S. So just because they're not going to Mexico or going to the U.S. right now, doesn't mean they won't end up there. Um, and, and obviously this is going to be a huge problem. Also, at the end of the day, Mexico will soon get sick of this. Mexico has already got sick of this. There are people that are already writing that these people need to go back to where they came from. Um, so, you know, people are already starting to get sick of the litter and everything like that. Um, the, the protests, the litter, the violence and everything that comes with this, this migration. Um, so at the end of the day, yeah, I, I can't see Mexico being happy putting up with this forever. Um, and I would very much suggest that they would probably get sick of it sooner rather than later. Um, look at the end of the day, obviously, Trump, you need to build this wall, man. Build the wall and get 4chan to operate drones or something on it. That, that'll protect it. I, I don't know. Look, I, I really... The, the left keep wanting these open borders, and we know why they want to do it. They want to do it because at the end of the day, 80% of the people that come up from these places are going to vote Democrat, so it's a good way to rig elections, um, which is why they always tend to flow into places like Texas at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I say, look at the end of the day, it's... Um, oh, by the way, if you're wondering why they're flowing into Texas, uh, because they're trying to turn Texas blue. It's literally vote rigging at this stage. It's literally... Yeah, but anyway. Um, if you turn the, the major states in the US blue, then at the end of the day, you can control the, the White House. If you control California, Texas, um, all these sort of major places that have a lot of these, these, um, these uh, electoral commission numbers, um, then at the end of the day, you can go through and basically you can win the White House a lot easier. Um, but, yeah, um, th that's what they want to do. They want to turn these major areas, California, they've already done that. That's mostly that's mostly uh, mostly blue at the moment. Um, Texas, um, or, or Alabama, all these sort of places, they want to turn them blue so at the end of the day they can control the White House. Um, it's all in preparation for 2020. Um, but look, at the end of the day, yeah, I, I would say, Trump, build the wall, man, uh, and just protect your borders. And... I suppose let Mexico deal with this. I, 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 I don't know. I don't really care about Mexico. I don't really care about Guatemala and all those sort of places. I, I'm more sitting there thinking, look, I, I'm just lucky Australia's got oceans all around it, to be honest. And we've got some nice, great big white pointing sharks that want to eat people that want to fall in the ocean. So we got one of the best defences, but, you know, but even we have our own migration problem. Guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. I sort of rambled at the end of this video, so hopefully you'd yeah, um, but yeah, like I say, let me know your thoughts are in that comment section. Do you think at the end of the day, this 15,000 people would be a problem? Do you think at the end of the day, they will stop at Mexico and they won't go any further? I'd like to see that argument, but go for it. Uh, let me know your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.